Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to customize the SharePoint form using InfoPath Designer. There are two things that you need to consider before doing this. First of all, do you have the 2013 version of Office? If you don't, then you can't have InfoPath Designer. So that's a showstopper. And um, that's something to consider that this product is going away. Microsoft has officially announced that the support is going to uh, stop in 2023. So that's quite a few years into the future, but it's still something that you need to consider. But to do this, of course, the built-in form, as you see, is rather boring. You have a bunch of fields in a long row there. And if you have multiple fields, then you might feel that this is wasting a lot of space. Having one row for each, you can certainly put several rows of information or several information columns here on the horizontal instead of the vertical. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It's very, very simple. And you go into the list tab here and click on customize in InfoPath. And then you get this question whether you want to open it in InfoPath and you want to allow that. And then you get another security warning from inside InfoPath and that's fine. You just accept that. And there you see the current design of the form, which is all the columns here. Notice that InfoPath doesn't really use the word columns, it uses fields instead. To put, for example, the um, priority and the task status, they don't really need one row each. So to put them in one row instead, I can simply change the size of this priority field, and then I can move up the task status here next to it. Maybe that works better if I actually change the size also. There we go. And then I can just press the left key put my cursor between the two and put the status there. A few spaces in between there. So that means now that of course I can change the layout and delete one row there, saving me quite a bit of vertical space. And of course I don't usually show this predecessor so I can delete that entire row also, giving me a lot more space or less space used actually. And then of course you can also copy and paste information. You could insert uh, pictures from your computer here. Under my documents here, there should be a logo. Let's put that one in there. That looks nice. And now I can simply publish this form. Now if I close this down in InfoPath, oh, it's still communicating. There we go. Now it's closed and I am done. Now if I refresh this and click on New Task, you see I do get the new form with the priority and the status next to each other. Same thing, of course, when I open an existing task. Nice, so that shows you how to customize the form using InfoPath. Thank you for watching this demonstration.